When the alarm sounds, they leave their families, their jobs, drop what they're doing and go. Every day, all across the country, volunteer firefighters respond to a variety of calls. According to the National Volunteer Fire Council, volunteers make up 65% of firefighters in the United States. Here in New Hampshire, that number is slightly higher at 70%. Certainly they are uh, the driving force behind the fire service uh, within our state. But that driving force has slowly weakened over the years, both on a national and state level due to a sharp decrease in volunteers. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, Every state has the same problem. Fire Marshal Paul Parisi says recruitment and retention has become difficult. When seconds and minutes matter, uh, lives are really on the line. And, and we worry that um, we're going to see an increase in uh, property loss and an increase in, uh, in uh, uh, essentially lives lost. Smaller towns are hit the hardest. In Sugar Hill, Fire Chief Alan Clark explains as his team ages out, he's having trouble filling those vacancies. The younger generation, those maybe now in their 20s, I mean, they're very busy and they're maybe not as, as settled or in, and maybe not quite as community oriented. A town of Sugar Hill, the, the real estate prices are relatively high and the opportunity for employment is, is not great. But even some of the bigger cities and towns are feeling the heat. Chief Kirk Beatty heads Laconia and Belmont Fire Departments. We're seeing a big turnover in personnel as well. People that come into the job maybe realize it's not something they want to do and leave, or when there's multiple openings across the state, it's easy for firefighters to bounce around and go to other departments. That's causing a big strain for us. Beatty is working with other chiefs to create a hiring and retention committee to come up with solutions. We're working on tapping into high schools. We're working on um, working directly with the, the colleges in the area that, that have these types of programs. Um, and we're trying to do the next step for us right now is going to be a, a large marketing campaign. The state has also made its certification process a little more flexible breaking up lessons and moving some from out of the classroom to online. They can actually do it at home, on duty, you know, whatever works for them and still get some of the training that they need. A team effort to make sure Granite Staters have the resources they need in the event of an emergency. This is all of us in this boat together. Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.